In this video, I'm going to be discussing the non-hair defringe setting in Easy Green Screen 7. This is what replaces what was called contract mask in version 6, but this does work quite a bit differently, at least on the default settings. Now you do have the same options from version 6 on the bottom here called contract 1, 2, or 3 pixels. This will work identical to version 6. The default mode is auto low. There's also auto medium and auto high. And the auto modes work a lot differently than the contract modes. And that's why it's called defringe and not contract. And it says non-hair defringe, but it will also have some effect on the hair, even if you have the auto hair refine on. If you don't have auto hair refine on, this actually does apply to the entire image. With auto hair refine on, it will still apply this to the entire image, but then it will run auto hair refine after it's applied the defringing. So you get any hair back that you lost with this. I'll just demonstrate the effect that this will have on the hair. Um, but first, let's just let's just run this with um, this off because you can turn it off if you want to. That is an option. And that way I can just show you the fringing that we're trying to address here. And now what we can see here, and this is common with green screen, especially if your screen is a little bit darker. This is not actually a green spill we're looking at. It's more of just a neutral gray. That's because the green has already been taken care of with the spill correction. But the brightness of that screen was so much darker than the skin, the edge of those pixels took on the darkness of the screen. So even if the color is fixed, the pixels are still too dark. Now, depending on the color of background, you may never even see that fringe. In most cases, you probably don't, but if you're extracting off a green screen and putting onto a white background, that fringe is going to be most apparent because that green screen is much darker. And I purposely chose an image for this that has a darker background too, or had a slightly darker green screen, just so we could really see this. Let's take a look at this with the low setting. Now this is the default setting. Now the low setting usually works pretty well for most images. However, it still can leave in some cases a slight bit here, which in all honesty, you would never probably even see against almost any color of a background. So depending on what you're putting your images into, always try to use as low a setting as you can get away with, in my opinion, because that's going to have the least effect on the edges of your image. Um, but you can go medium or high if you need to, of course. I may actually move the default to medium on a future version. I've not decided yet. I'm still kind of tweaking how auto medium and auto high work. But I do have six um, saved history states where I ran all of these different options. So we'll look at the high here. And you can see that when it's on high, that fringe is almost non-existent, although there, there may just be a slight bit there, but really never noticeable. And that's because these three modes are working differently than contract modes. These do not force your image to contract the edges. It refines the edges and tries to correct where needed and going from low to medium to high. It has a stronger effect or a threshold value for what it's looking for when it's trying to correct. But if it thinks the edge is where it needs to be, then it's not going to force it to contract if it doesn't think it has to. At the same time, it might actually bring small little hairs back into your extraction, especially if you have it on high, because it's um, refining the edge, not necessarily contracting the edge. So we can see with this on high, we got pretty much the original edge around where the ball and the skin meet here. If I turn this on to 
These three modes are your contract modes. And you can see that contract three pixels just automatically chops into everything. It may be kind of hard to see on your screen here. I'll zoom in a little more. So here's high mode. And then here is contract three, which is the old version six method for high. So this just forces it. Now this is a very um, high resolution image. We are at 6,000 plus pixels and the person's, you know, around three quarters here. So it's very high resolution. On a low resolution, resolution image, that uh, contract three is really going to chop away at that image. Um, so just keep that in mind. And that's the reason why I like these auto modes better. How did I get that? Just type the zoom on. Uh, anyway, can't remember the shortcut key. I hit some, but I can't remember the shortcut key to turn it back to the regular zoom. In any case, um, I'm going to zoom into this one pixel here because this is where Easy Green Screen 7 is a lot better with these auto modes. If I turn this to high, you see that we don't see that hole that we see when we're on 3. If we go to 1 to 2 to 3, you see this hole getting a little bit larger. Now what's happening, every now and then you'll see this um, in version 6. And if you use version 7 with those three modes that were from version six, you can still see this. But what's actually happening is in your original image, I'm looking at the original image here. You can see that there's some green pixels and I'm not even sure where that green came from because the this green screen shouldn't have had any spill on this, but this could just be some kind of weird lighting reflection and it reflected green in any case. So you can see with our contract off, if I go to this, this is where I didn't have it on at all. There's just, just this one or two pixels that got slightly extracted. And if I go to my mask, You can see that in the layer mask, there's just a little bit of transparency there, which you would never see this if you put this onto a background like this. However, if you run with the contract method from version six, where you're forcing the contraction, here's one pixel. You see that getting a little bit bigger. Here's two pixels. So it's forcing that mass, mask to contract and expanding the transparent areas so it's making this little hole here. And sometimes you'll see a few of those on your images and it's kind of annoying. Well, with version seven, if you use the auto modes, here's low and medium and high. And if you actually look at this, what's kind of amazing about this is if you watch this closely, here's off. And then if you go to low and then to medium, that area is actually getting smaller. And if you look at the um, mask, oops, I accidentally clicked the wrong button here. Let's, all right, here's the mask. And so here's with it off. And then so that this is the extraction with no refined edge. And here's with it on high. You can see that it's almost fixed that hole in our extraction. Whereas if we go to contract three and look at the mask, you can see it's made that hole bigger in the mask. So the whole takeaway, I guess why I showed you all that is to um, just make you aware that these auto modes do not necessarily contract. They try to fix your edges. And so for that reason, unless you have some extreme edges that need um, contracted, and in which case you probably need to fix something in your photo shoot, but if you have something that just needs chopped off, use the um, contract. If you don't have anything that necessarily needs forced to be chopped off, use these auto modes because they'll work way better. 
I'm also going to show you in the hair here because I mentioned that this will have some effect on the hair. Right, let's go back to our... Okay, here's where it's off. And if I go to a high, you see that this does have some effect on the edge of the hair. So with this off, if you look at some of these edge hairs here, off to high, you see there's no change in those. But some of this other stuff in the inside, you will have some of an effect because it's running this before it refines the hair. So far, let's try to find a different area here. And even up in this area, you do see a little bit of a difference. So just know that, that with this off, it's um, actually the hair probably looks worse with it off in most cases because with this on medium or high, you're usually fixing a little bit of the hair edges and then you're going back through with the auto refined hair and recovering more hair. So. And honestly, with the auto refined hair, I would almost be tempted to always use this on high in most cases, which will add to your processing time. Um, just be aware of that. And you can see with the co contract, the same things, this will have some effect on the hair as well, even though the refined hair recovered a lot of these hairs. So if we look in our mask, um, We still have a lot of our hair recovery, and this is with contract three verse off. So they, they kind of do work hand in hand to a certain extent is kind of all I'm trying to get at there. So if you're using auto refined hair mask, which mode do you choose? I would use any of the auto levels depending on what you need. And don't be afraid to go up to high because high is not going to chop into your image like um, free wood on version 6. Now, like I say, processing time. Using low adds maybe half a second to your processing. Auto medium, maybe a second. Auto high, maybe a second and a half. That's on Windows when I've tested. On Mac, it's a lot less. I, I don't have the exact times. Um, these non-hair defringe contract this adds almost no time to your extraction because it's a much easier process so just keep all that in mind too i think that about covers everything i wanted to discuss so anyway hopefully that clears up any questions about what these modes are for thanks for watching